Let's Play! Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Blind. I figured out where to go, definitely not through looking through game packs, and it turns out I don't need the Mystic Key, I get it later. So I just completely missed the boss room, apparently, because I am an absolute idiot. Um, I... <laughs> it's not funny how many times you get poisoned on the way there and back. It's not funny anymore. Honestly, if I find an item that prevents poison, despite me never would have done it in another game, I'm gonna do it in this game. I'm gonna equip that item and actually use it. Because normally, I don't go for that type of stuff. I'm just not a type of guy who worries so much about status conditions. Poison in this one is deadly. So, I looked on the map, I memorized it, I think. It's all the way down, three to the left, I'm pretty sure. Um, I ran from most battles because I didn't want to grind too much. I mean, look how much damage we're dealing. If I one-shot the bosses, I might be a little sad, but it, I mean, it'd be good at the same time because... But it, it wouldn't be. So, here's the bottom. I think it's this one. Hey, it's a treasure chest. Found a cottage. No, wait, how come I opened this one but not the other one? Oh, it must have been, it might have been already empty to begin with. So is it then this one? No. Then it's one more over, I think. Otherwise, I am lost. No, it's one more down. Haha. -ha. This looks like it's important. Enemies! Pisco demons! There's only three? I thought there was supposed to be four. These are the bosses. Holy crap, they hit hard. And they are attacking Jarek. Um. Ouch, they do hit hard. I should probably use magic. Ah, oh, they're not that bad, I don't think. Oh, they they have, they have pretty high, uh... Oh, wait, we have a Suna? I forgot we had a Suna. I guess we should have used that one. A Suna! <laughs> what happened to waste that bolt on him? Unless... Yay! Well. That was the boss. Oh, he did a little woohoo with his hat. Obtained a crown. Cool E.O. Well, that was exciting. Is there something in this one? No. Okay, well, that was hilariously easy. By hilariously, I mean kind of sad because I shouldn't be there. Oh my goodness, scorpions. Those are new enemies from that I've never seen, so I shall kill them. Do they have poison? Because if they have poison, that makes sense. The fact that the tarantulas have poison does... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Tarantulas don't have poison... I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't because their size was a natural defense mechanism. S little spiders have venom because they need to, you know, defend predators. And so to do that, they have the poison. But scorpions, like, they, they, they do have poison because, well, because they too are small. Small little insignificant little creatures, you know. Um, much like me. That was mean. Oh, also, we got an email between parts, and if you guys know, a common running thing is if I get an email between parts or in a part, I read it out loud. Because I like I like giving like shoutouts and stuff. Because whenever my name's heard on a on a channel, I, I kinda squee and joy. Um So I wanna give a shout out to Super Smash Sista. Cause she's like, I love Zelda, and you're now you're my friend. Nice let's play, by the way. Going all the way back to my uh, Knights Journey of Dreams let's play, which I oh my god, that game's old. I mean, like that that let's play was my second let's play. Although now it might look like my first because of the whole having to delete Pokemon channel thing, which made me so sad. But I didn't want to risk another copyright because that that one that that one was an actual boom hit copyright. It wasn't one of those, like, like with Metal Gear Solid, I get flagged for a copyright every part I put up because of the cutscenes, right? But Konami's such, so cool, other than, you know, the whole thing with Skullgirls, where they're like, yeah, you can put it up, just hit the acknowledge button, and you can still keep the video up. So that's cool. I just can't monetize, well, I can monetize the videos, but I don't out of re almost respect. You know, it's sort of like, um, I'm not really out of respect, more out of fear that I get hit with a copyright, so I just, I don't monetize those videos, unless they don't flag it for copyright if there's no, uh, uh, cutscenes in it. Then that's cool. I need to go this way. I'm lost, because I'm just, you know, kind of talking. Um, yeah, I didn't want to get hit by any more copyrights. I will admit, Pokemon Channel was probably a really good Let's Play, and, uh, it's what got me started. 
I remember when that when episode three or so or was it eleven? It was it was titled God is like a fisherman, and the only reason I chose that title was because, well, my mom who works at a Catholic school used uh, uses that as an example all the time, and I thought you know put it up as that because back then I didn't know that you know religion was such a hot topic, but people watched it because there's nothing on YouTube with that name, and yet it's a famous poem, at least at that time. I also put it up as a response to one of Chug's videos, and uh, uh, that's what I sort of got my big start from. And I remember, I remember when I started seeing like the numbers go up to like 300, I was shocked. And then it started, I started getting, I doubled my subscribers in one day. And like, that was, that was an event that sort of made me say, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do YouTube stuff because that was just an experimental thing. I wanted to see if I could do it, you know? I wanted to live up to my idols, Clement J642, and Tom64. Uh, I wanted to live up to them. Though I gotta say, now that I can read and talk to Endom any day on Facebook, uh, the, the magic has kind of worn off. No offense to him, but he's he's very different in his videos than he is in real life. I've noticed that. He's very, um... I don't know, opinionated? That's a big word, uh, a good word for him, because he's always ragging on the Game Grumps, and I'm like, I love Game Grumps, I think they're hilarious, but then you look, and I guess it under- oh wow, they're fleeing? But it's like, I guess it makes sense, his videos are very, like, professional, scripted, we're gonna talk about this, this part, and this, this part, and there's nothing wrong with that, because then he gets the information across, and at the same time provides interesting commentary when there's none of that going on. Um, but then there's Game Grumps who literally are the complete opposite. I love them both. However, oh wow, they're all fleeing. That's awesome! But, um, it's like, I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of people who are downers. Um, I just think there's so much, so much, like, diversity that there is, a, it is okay for anything to be on YouTube, really. I mean, like, like it doesn't matter if, if you're good at the game, if you're bad at the game. It, I mean, <laughs> of course I'd say that, because look at me playing Final Fantasy. I just beat the Marsh Cave, and I'm on, what, part 9? I think. Um, and it's like, you know, I understand both sides. But at the same time, I sort of don't, because that's just who I am. I'm not a, I'm not a pessimistic Pascal. It's, it's an awesome name, Pascal. Pascal. It reminds me of Animal Crossing, which I gotta say is Nintendo's equivalent to heroin, and as such, I need my fix pretty soon. Um, I'm gonna pre-order it the next time I can. However, I don't know... Oh, oh, but I'm thinking about it. it since I can add, easily add people to friends lists and stuff, it'd probably be really easy to, like, add you guys to, to my town and stuff. So you can come visit and stuff. Because with the 3DS, it's so easy to... That'd be awesome, yeah. So, when it comes out, I might do videos saying, you know, hey, everybody, come to my town and boo 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 you know. It'd be fun, but until then, we have to actually wait for Animal Crossing 3DS to come out. This is really dating the part, and I shouldn't be doing this because, I don't know, it's like, on the one hand, I say don't do that, but on the other hand, you kind of need stuff to talk about. And maybe it is nice to go back and sort of re-listen to personal stories and stuff, and this is probably my most insightful Let's Play I've ever done. And I'm not even talking about the game. It's like, I'm just talking about, like, temporality and stuff like that. And how everything's, like, fleeting and stuff. And, wow. I just went so deep. So very, very deep. Let's get some more black magic. Yeah, no, that's level one black magic. Let's get level two black magic. Black harder. <laughs> the blackening. Revenge of the black. Uh, um, uh, the black strikes back. Oh, that one sounds awesome. That's that's what I'd call it. Uh, let's see here. Sleep to ice two. Yes, let's get ice. You don't have enough money. Oh, I don't. Uh, and you can get them all. Sweet. Okay, well, let's go sell some of our other stuff that we got. You know, items and such and things. Uh, and here we go. Little cafe place. Even though it's really weird that it's a cafe when it should be an item shop. Seal plate. We got dagger. We don't need. Leather armor is really not that expensive. Oh, we don't need- we still don't have enough. Ah, whatever, we'll get some more at the next town if we can. For now, let's go back to King of uh, the Prince, what's his name? I don't think he's ever even named. 
And that's the thing. It was like on TV Tropes. It was like, Prince Valfam goes unnamed. I'm like, that's, that's funny. Elvin Gassel. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, so let's head up to the prince, Prince Poop. Okay, I guess I'll talk to you. Astos cast a curse on a prince, causing him to fall into sleep. What can lift this curse? Um, doesn't the crown... Isn't the crown crown that shimmers mysteriously? Isn't, isn't that what I, I need to give you? How, how do I give? What What is the give button? How, how, how does one give? Nope. Oh, no. Um. I thought this could lift the curse, but I guess not. Do we talk to the king? Can we talk to the king? Uh, great bunch. Wait, what? On the western of Adele, see where the dwarves dwell. A great bunch they are. Okay. Well, we don't want to talk to no dwarves right now. We need to find out what to do with this crown. What about you, sir? Do you have to say about the crown? Uh, storm out of the castle, curse the cat, and uh, yes, talk to you. Uh, okay. And you're the same thing, really. Um. Ha! Hey, you're a random person in the field. You probably have something. To oh, I can't even talk to you. Um. Huh! One second, guys. I'm gonna take a look at the gods, see what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so apparently, we go back to that one place from before, and that is where we face Mr. Buttface, who put the king, the prince to sleep, so... I... okay, there's no explanation that getting this crown will allow us to do that. Probably There probably is, but, uh, I just wasn't listening. And I'm going the wrong direction, aren't I? I most likely am. Whoa, stop that! I'm trying to... I press the button once, but it must be because of... if I... I don't know. I don't know why it does that twice. Um, so we have to go all the way back there, which isn't fun, but hey, that's Final Fantasy for you. Oh, no. The enemies always strike first. I don't think I've ever played a game where the enemies strike first as much as they do in this game. It's like literally every second enemy is them striking first, and it's not funny. It rather angers me. Can Oh, boy, no. No, don't all three get paralyzed. Come on, Jarek. Come on, Jarek. Yes, just keep ignoring Jarek. Jarek! Yes! You came in use once more, Jarek. Alright, let's go back to that one ghastly placey place from before. Hopefully. More Cobras! Cobra Commander! I swear, if we face an enemy called Cobra Commander, I will be so happy. But there's chances are it's not, because... This is before Final Fantasy went to the realm of, you know, making pop culture jokes. That it went to with 5 and then kind of dropped and disappeared and got all serious with uh, 6. Which is fine. 6 is a great game. I have 6 on disc for PS1. I also have 5 on disc, but for some reason it doesn't work in my PS3. It plays fine, but whenever you go to save, the game freezes and you can't actually save. Which isn't good, considering I don't want to play the entire game in one sit-down. You can't even do the memo save or any of that. There is no saving, and it sucks. Um, maybe I might, if I get a PS1 memory card, I could play it on my PS2, which would be nice, but most likely, PS1 memory cards aren't that expensive. I saw one on Amazon.ca for, like, literally one cent. And, I mean, I uh, how could that go wrong, even if it's not bad? Even if it, even if it doesn't work, you, it was one cent, right? No. Because... Well, shipping and handling is like five bucks, and I don't like that. Uh, let's actually use a, a uh, tent out here. I got some cottages too. I guess I shouldn't have spent money on them, but they'll come in, come in use later. Um, we will also heal, no, save rather, before we do this. Save, we're at the Western Keep. Yeah, we are at the right place. Perfect. I was worried that this wasn't the right place. So, Western Keep. Oh, this place be scary. Oh, hey, there's a king here. I don't even think we talked to him last time. Ha! Fools! I am the great king of Dark Elves, Astos! I guess we should have talked to him before to get the fact that he's not actually the king of Dark Elves. Thank you ever so much for retrieving the crown. With the crystal he I here, I shall become the true elf king! <laughs> 
You fool! This music doesn't go well with what's happening. You fools have served your purpose. To the underworld you will go. Welp. Real boss time! Whoa, awesome music! Now, let us bolt him. And let us attack him. And let us attack him. And you, you can, I guess, attack him. I mean, it's not gonna be that useful. Bolt 2! Blibber zap! 40. Oh god, that's not a lot. Oh boy, he has high defense, it seems. Oh boy, he really does. Reaper! No! Don't take Brad! Don't take Brad! Yes! Okay, I guess the best thing to do would probably just be whack him. Oh boy. No, it's not. He has hot. Oh, yes! Wow! Wow. Uh. Fuad! You didn't even look like you got a critical hit there, buddy. You just look like you slapped him and then. And he died. Huh. That was, uh. Obtain Crystal Eye. That was. Eventful. Huh. Oh wait, was that an item? Yeah, there's items in there. I want to go grab those. How do I, how do I get over there? How does one achieve that room? Um, how come this looked different before? My like it didn't have all this. Like I don't even think that room was there, unless I just didn't notice it, and I'm just being an idiot. Please don't be blocked by the Mystic Key. Darn it! Good thing we should probably just be getting the Mystic Key right away. But I will save that, guys, for next time. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Blind, where we go return the crystal eye to that one weird magician guy. And we go see the Elfin Prince, who will hopefully not be sleeping anymore. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.